All right, what's going on, guys? We're on the uh, 91 Pontiac Firebird 3.1 V6. And I'm getting ready to do the fuel pressure regulator in this car. I've done a fuel pressure test. The pressure was about 10 to 11 PSI. It's getting a little bit of fuel up to the rail, but it's not getting anything past the rail. It's not, uh, it's just steadily cranking. It's not starting. It's just not running at all. So it's just sitting there steadily just cranking over. So, and I know a lot of you guys got questions about trying to get the um, fuel injectors and stuff removed out of here. So I'm going to show you the procedure on that. But luckily, I won't have to remove any of that, just the fuel pressure regulator and changing up the upper plenum gaskets. So the first thing, disconnect your battery, come over here, get you a rag, towel, or something, because you may end up having a little bit of fuel come up if, you, if your fuel pressure is good. Uh, you're going to have fuel that's going to spurt out of here when you press the little bleeder valve needle uh, down. So, and that's where you're going to depressurize the system. Okay, so I've got all that done. Although mine kind of spewed out a little air and that's about it. No fuel. But yours may. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this removed out of the way. And I'll just keep videoing to show y'all. Alright, so there's a little hose right here. Just pull that down. Next, remove this out of the way. You got a screw here, so don't forget that for the clamp. Just remove it completely out of the way. Next, you want to remove the two bolts for the EGR tube. Uh, if your gasket is still good, you can keep it to reuse. This is new, so I get to keep it and reuse it. Uh, you may want to get a new one if yours is bad. Go ahead and disconnect your uh, all your electrical components and especially this guy here which is your vacuum your throttle cable all you gotta do is just push out and it'll come off you have a clip down here for your cruise control you want to get a flathead screwdriver or if you can get your nail underneath the tab right here you can get that tab just like that and sometimes a little bit of pain in the butt. But you can get a flathead screwdriver and kind of pry out. And you got to make sure it don't do that. But I will get a um, magnet for that. So you may want to have two hands just in case. 10 millimeter nut. Remove it. And this bracket will come off. It won't come completely off. But I'll show you. I can't find my ratchet wrench. God damn it, come on here. And it'll be freed up so that way when you get ready to take your uh, bolts and stuff off, the whole thing will just lift up. Uh, but this one, they'll st still stay in place, of course. It just won't be bolted up to the upper plenum. You have a 13 millimeter bolt. Two 13 millimeter nuts here. Remove these three. Bracket will completely remove out of your way. Okay, so this is the bracket. This is what came off. This will come off with it. This bolt will screw into here. This goes in front of your AC. Now, as far as your hose back here, you will not have to remove this, okay? All you have to do is remove the hose from your brake booster. Once you have removed your hose from your brake booster, come over here, find this line right here. It's also a vacuum. You remove it, be careful not to break this end, and also remove this lower hose. Once you do that, then see, and then all this here is all still attached to this. That way you don't have to remove this. 